Hey everybody, Ira Shaimase of The Art of Comics. We're here at WonderCon 2023 and here in Anaheim, California. This is one of my favorite conventions. It's better than San Diego. That's right, I said it. It's, it's one of the best ones. Um, here's the question. Is it still good post-COVID? And am I gonna have more fun now that I don't have a table? So I'm not exhibiting. This is my first year not exhibiting. I don't have to sling books, although you can check out my books on Patreon. So here we are. Let's explore WonderCon this year. Let's do this. Here we go. What are you most looking forward to seeing here at WonderCon today? Uh, probably like Legos. Yeah, probably Legos. Or maybe, or maybe like someone in a Pikachu suit. Okay. That would be cool. It definitely feels like pre-pandemic. Like it's very crowded. It, you know, masks are of a thing of the past. It does feel like five years ago, which is cool, right? We kind of bounce back. A lot of people are here. I can appreciate that. Um, and despite all the traffic of this area, I actually like this convention center. Definitely is better than San Diego. The size of my, hey, Rafael! Hey, how you doing, what man? Vale? <laughs> Come here, hang on, let me turn this off. How you doing? Okay, that was really cool. I actually just ran across one of my big Kickstarter supporters, Rafael, who had supported all my Kickstarters at the highest level. He got original art. That was really fun. So that, I mean, that's kind of what this is all about, right? Is reconnecting. It's the human connection. It's like meeting people, seeing them after a while. And uh, that's the element I like, actually. That, that's, I mean, I can buy comics and manga anywhere. It's all about making the connections with people. So very cool. Okay, we're here in small press. This is where I usually am when I'm exhibiting. Although, honestly, you do better in Artist Alley than you do in small press, to be honest. You get more space here, but less people come here. Artist Alley is where if you want to make money. That's that's the truth. But uh, yeah, small press is small press. It also costs a little more to get into small press. Uh, so yeah, let's just keep keep exploring here. Now this is where actually you sell comics, which unfortunately the the big comic book uh, indie guys here. This is um, sorry, the big retailers are all kind of sequestered in this corner. They used to do, they used to do um, like quarter bins, fifty cent quarter comics. I don't know if they're gonna do that. They usually do that on the last day. Some cool original art which is fun. I used to sell Rich Noir. I used to be kind of a bit of a broker of comics. Let's see what else we can see here. Yeah, this feels very much like normal Comic-Con. No, no difference. Okay, this is Stuart Ng, probably my favorite, probably my favorite vendor in the whole con. I love Stuart Ng's books. Uh, huge fan and I will have to spend some time looking at these here in a minute right now Yeah, we got it. 
Okay. Going up to the second floor, which is where the panels are. Uh, Panel-wise, it looks pretty much the way it's been in the previous. I mean, my takeaway so far is no major changes to the theme or, you know, execution. It's pretty much what you would expect at Comic-Con, you know. It's just nice that it's all kind of back. More shots of Comic-Con. It actually doesn't feel quite as crowded as I've seen it before, but maybe I'm taking that back. Actually, it probably is just right. Crowd-wise goes. Went that way. Let's go find the Avatar guys over here, Sophia. And this is where people do the cosplaying. So, all the photography, all out here. We're now in like the toy section of the con. You can't just have books, you gotta have some toys. And so a lot of cool toys, Japanese toys, just crocheted, like uh, Etsy type stuff, as well as the more, the bigger Squishmallows and all that kind of stuff. Gundams, of course, there's the Gundam booths. Uh, Pop, a lot of Funko stuff. It's kind of fun, so. It's got everything, right? There's a section for books, a section for art, illustrators, a section for toys and models. And, uh, yeah, it's WonderCon. Okay, it's about four o'clock and we've been here for about five hours. And I think I'm done. I'll talk some more in a minute about my thoughts on WonderCon in general, but you know, I think we're kind of done. I'll do a little bit more photos here, and I'll, I'll share some some stills too, so you guys can see some of this stuff. But um, basically, if you've done Comic Con before, these comic conventions. If you've done them multiple times like I have, right, more than five times, it doesn't change. Like, I feel like this could be 2002. This could be um, the first time I went to one, I think it was 1999. Uh, today, 2023, and it's like, yeah, you go watch my videos when I first started doing this channel, and it's pretty much the same. What did you like about... Uh, WonderCon today, sir. Oh man, it was it, it. Oh, it was really great. Wait, hold on. Am I on a live stream right now? You're not on a live stream. I will edit this tonight. Okay, just uh, just keep just uh, blur out my face in the video because well, you know, uh, I'm 15, so you know I don't want anyone to actually see my face. And besides, if they and besides, if they see my face, I'll say, ah, he's so ugly. What did you like? What did you like about it? Like, uh, the thing I liked the most about it was just uh, was just. You know the fact that I got to see all these people cosplaying, and yeah. I know there's a and I know there's a kid here, but I gotta say, some of the some of these uh some of yeah. these people in the cosplay, oh my goodness, goodness. gracious, okay. they are some baddies what for real. You, what did you not like about it? Give uh, me something bad, negative. Uh, something negative. Uh, the fact the fact that I literally saw like this OnlyFans page, you know, I was like, uh, yeah. there are kids here. What the hell? Yeah. Was there anything that uh, you would have liked to do better here? Um, what could be better? About the experience. Uh, I don't know. Is maybe there? maybe more than just Star Trek panels. More Star Trek stuff. No more. No, I mean more than just like more like, than just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Too much uh, Star Trek. You'd like other stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like I remember when Teen Titans go at a panel here, and I oh. remember you know when that's gonna. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know, F favorite comic book. Go. Uh. Well. What? Wait. Does manga count? Yes. Uh, well, that would have to go to Berserk. I, I've not. Oh, Berserk is very good. I've not only been reading Berserk. I've also been reading Chainsaw Man. 
Chainsaw Man's very good too. My, on my channel, I talk about it. The Art of Comics. Go check it out. Okay. Art of Comics. Okay, Art of Comics, and and be and because I'm part of this video, uh, I won't, uh, I won't, my face will be blurred out. I will, yes? do my, I will do my best to blur you out. Do or do not. Okay, but you, you will. There is no try. It's only do or do not. I will blur you out. Thank you. I promise. Okay. Cool, man. Thank you. What was your uh, name? So I know your name. My name is Joshua. And what is yours? Josh. Andres. <laughs> okay, we both have the same name then. Nice to meet you, Josh. Thank you, man. All right. See you you'll see it. To, you'll see it tomorrow morning. Yes. I'll blur your face. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So, Art of Comics, and your name is Andres. Yeah, it's me, dude. All right. Have a nice Take day. care, buddy. Peace out. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying yeah, yeah, yeah. before that lovely gentleman came and talked to me, that young man, um, I feel like if you've done this once, you've done this a million times, and unless you're looking to like meet up with somebody, get something signed, a new book comes out and you really want it, or you want the social aspect to it, it's the same. That's not a negative at all. That just means that like... Hey man, we're done and we've done it and that's cool. So I was impressed and and pleased that Comic-Con is back full swing post pandemic. It feels just like it's always been. And if you've done it a long time, then you might be over it like me. I'm a little over it, but I had fun. So there you go. 2023 Comic-Con Saturday experience. I uh, hope you guys check out my Patreon, which has a lot of my own uh, creative stuff going on. Starting up a new little uh, film project, and then my comics graphic novel that I've been working on for a while. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Matane.